Hey everybody, this is Brian Tarian here with Curl. Curl, thanks for joining today. Well, you're welcome, Ryan. <laughs> yes, uh, we are going to share some information with you about the most common condition or conditions um, that people get approved for their social disability benefits for. And I have Curl here because she is our resident expert that has been helping our members here get approved for disability and has seen this condition time and time again, right? So when you understand how to read medical records and tie it in with a lot, so it's a beautiful combination. So in advance, Curl. Um, <laughs> So what I want to share with you is called, um, it's a listing, it's a blue book listing, and it has to do with individuals that have um, conditions that are related to their spine, like from your neck, right, Curl, all the way up to the yeah. top, all the way down to your lower back. So this, this area right here um, is what Social Security refers to as the regular skeletal um, listing or blue book depends on you know how you've learned about it and this graph showing you right here is from the social security annual uh, statistics report and it shows different conditions that people get approved for but what i wanted to point out is uh, down here it says muscular skeletal and this blue bar right here is disabled workers. So people that have to stop mm. um, because of this condition, it's the highest uh, percent. Other lighter blues have to do with adult children. So, <clears throat> all right, Carl, what can I provide for you that would be helpful? You want to work with Yeah, the, yeah that you, one would work. We here? Okay. Yeah. Explain this to us, how it works. Okay, all right. So today we're going to talk about, as um, what Brian mentioned earlier, as the musculoskeletal disorder. This is um, part of the Blue Book from Social Security. So to meet a listing, one should have a disabling impairment equals an element of a listing. So for 1.00 musculoskeletal disorders, from the word skeletal spine, bones, joints, muscles, tissues. These are the areas that is being affected in the musculoskeletal disorder. So injuries and disorders that affect the human body's movement or the musculoskeletal system. So this affects uh, the mobility also. According to a survey, so Top 10 musculoskeletal system disorders, this is according to Social Security Administration, that are being applied for um, are the following. We have arthritis, we have fibromyalgia, we have spine disorders, we have scoliosis, ruptured discs, carpal tunnel syndrome, and degenerative disc disease. Okay. I have a few questions. Um, may All I? Right. Sure. So uh, first of all, I want to, and, and for those of you listening out there, when we use the word listing, um, you can go and type in to uh, a Google search and just type in social security listing for muscular skeletal or for bad back, and it will bring you to this page. And um, so what curl down for us is what conditions apply. So here's See if I get this right. So it can be an injury that, let's say it's a disc-related injury, right? Mm -hmm. Or um, could be scoliosis, which is a, you know, a, a structural. But there was one that, that was unique, kind of an outlier to this, um, which is fibromyalgia. I mean, fibromyalgia, I know, is an autoimmune condition. How is mm -hmm. that? tied into this so fibromyalgia is tied into under the musculoskeletal disorder as as it progresses it affects the 
the lumbar spine. If you see the picture, it can you open that one? Yeah. So this is a photo of a spine. Um, you can see the different regions here in different colors. We have C1 to C8. It's called the cervical um, spine. The T1 to T12 is the thoracic spine. We have L1 to L5. It's the lumbar 1 to 5. Mm -hmm. And we have S1 and S3, these are the sacral area. So for the fibromyalgia, the affected area is the lumbar area. So the lumbar area, again, to the numbers and letters is, is where, Carl? Um, anywhere in L1 until L5. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So although it's an autoimmune condition, it attacks or affects a certain area, and that's how it's tied into the listing. Yeah, okay. it affects different system All right. as it progresses. Yeah, Great. so going back, so for the bone of joint destruction, deformity of the spine, amputation, fractures, soft tissue injuries may further complicate and affect the musculoskeletal system. So how do we confirm if a client has um, any disorder in, this, in the spine? So clients undergo imaging. So they mm -hmm. have MRI, CD scans to confirm their uh, diagnosis. So what are causes of musculoskeletal disorders? So we have the following. We have traumatic disorder. We have the generation process. We also have genetically acquired, being born with it, abnormal spinal curvatures as like the scoliosis, mm -hmm. poor posture, congenital diseases, malignancy such as tumors, cancers, um, compression fracture, osteoarthritis. We have rickets. So rickets, this is the softening and weakening of the bones in the children. So usually because of an extreme and prolonged vitamin D deficiency. Okay. Um, another, another cause of it is rheumatoid arthritis. And lastly, we have aging. So most mm -hmm. of our clients um, falls into this category. Aging. Okay. Yeah. So, so for the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Carl. I'll finish after you. All right. Your part. For the symptoms and limitations... We have swelling, redness, difficulty moving a particular body part. Mm -hmm. A symptom can be we have so symptoms can be numbness, tingling, mm -hmm. and pain. So okay. signs and symptoms can appear suddenly from a single accident that causes an injury. Mm -hmm. And this can also appear gradually over time. So it worsens if um, you don't treat it. So okay. for SSDI clients, as we are talking about the musculoskeletal system region of the spine that, af that is being affected, um, what we should do while we're applying and how we should support the evidences to Social Security is that we, we document the severity of the pain. We, we undergo diagnostic tests. Um, results of what I've mentioned earlier as um, the imaging, the CD scan, the discography. So those are diagnostic tests to confirm that you have problems in your musculoskeletal area. Mm -hmm. So medications, uh, what medication were advised if um, they could say that they were advised pain medication and as it progresses, um, the dosage increases. Some clients would have injectables as pain medications also. Um, next one is, um, will surgery fix the problem? Um, some, it may, it may worsen also for others. So um, the use of assistive devices, we can also um, use this as an evidence to Social Security with their medical record uh, being advised by their physician that they, they should use assistive devices such as walkers, canes, or any of those. Mm -hmm. um, of course, continuous treatment, seeing your pain doctor, your ortho, 
and um, physical therapy. So yeah, um, that's all that I have for the musculoskeletal system. Right, right. That's excellent. Um, just a quick recap. One point I want to bring out to everybody is that sometimes these listings are confusing for people because they may have, for example, degenerative disc uh, disease. But if mm -hmm. you don't have the key parts that Carl has pointed out, to you, like evidence of it and like imaging or scans or something like that, then you would have it, but you don't have the, the, the proper evidence. And when you come through this listing, also see down here, there is a grading system that determines the severity um, that you would work on with your medical team to go through the treatment and still meet the severity uh, part of this uh, so that so that um, you would you would qualify. So it's really about communication. Um, Carl, excellent job in helping people understand. Even me, I've learned something here today about fibromyalgia and how it's connected. Um, for those of you that are listening out there, if you're a member here, um, we haven't heard from you in a while. We'd we'd love to have you update us if something has changed with you. If you're new here uh, at the Disability Digest, we encourage join us as a member. You can listen to all the videos and piece it all together, but the best way that we can help you is if you join us as a member, click, click on the green button, and when you complete your survey or evaluation, it helps us understand where you're at. Maybe you're still working, or you're working part-time, or you've stopped working, or you're applied and waiting. Each one of those steps along the way, we have different information for to help you get approved fast. So there's no charge uh, for your membership. And of course, if you're approved, congratulations. We can help you keep your benefits and maximize your benefits. So thanks so much for listening. Join us in the comments. One last time, Carl. You. All right. Thank you.